everybody today i'm going to be um changing my binder out um right now i have this big um giant probably like three or four inch binder with these um black nine pocket pages and i really liked it when i first did it but now i'm kind of not Filling it as much, I collect a lot of full groups that have like five or six members and so um, I was browsing around on like the mini binders the other day and I found an A5 wide binder and I had never seen one before and this is what I have here and I decided to get it because there are six pocket pages for it so this is perfect for the groups that I collect that have the five or six members or less. This is the binder. It's just like that standard like clear but frosted type of mini binder that a lot of them are. This one has this little string. And I've actually seen like, um, there's a lot of people on Etsy that sell stuff and they, this is where I found this binder at first but the seller on Etsy did not have the pocket pages for it. And so I spent a little bit of time and found that I could buy it on uh, G Market. I believe that that would be the top because there's a little hole there to put like a keychain or something. Yeah, here are the six pocket pages. These don't feel particularly like that great of quality or anything. So that's what they go in here. Um, I don't think, yeah, the dragon shield sleeves that I normally use don't fit. So I will be using my uh, mini okay. sleeves. So this is what I will be using is these um, board game sleeves because they're skinny and they'll fit in there. I also have this like little tiny binder that I bought recently as well. Um, Dragon Shields will fit in here. This is what I'm going to use for groups I don't necessarily collect too much of, but I wanted to keep the cards. But also with the six, six pocket sleeves, they did have a bunch of others. This is just a full page. This is a long, skinny, like, three pocket. And I got a whole bunch of the uh, six pocket pages. There's, like, a square four pocket. And then a vertical up and down two pocket, and then a two pocket that is um, horizontal. So I got one of everything and then a whole bunch of the six pockets. I am going to take all of the cards out of this binder now that I'm going to put in here, and then I'll have to re-sleeve those. So like, one of the reasons I don't- I love having all my cards in one binder, but it's also- so huge and it's really not that cute um i might end up moving the rest of the cards they're, they're going in a smaller nine pocket binder or they will be going into four pocket pages so here's the first group bandit has five members so they will be going into the new binder oh no these won't fit will they Okay, so these um, bandit cards won't fit. That's kind of depressing. <laughs> um, I still miss seeing like the backs of cards, so I'm getting rid of the black pages at least. So bandit might stay in a nine pocket just because these do fit in nine pockets. Okay.
I wonder if these Wu Ah cards will fit. Oh, it's very close, but these do fit, so that's cool because Wu is definitely going in there. I did finally find Nana's cards and her film strip. I think Lunar Solar will go in there even though there's four members. I haven't decided if I really want like a four pocket binder as well yet. I do really enjoy these black pages um, for a binder because they are really good quality. And I like having the cards like front to back, but I also, like I said, miss seeing the backs of the cards. Did you see me putting or leaving any of these cards in? It's because they're not official cards. So that leaves in this binder just my GWSN because they are seven members, um, my Haru, and Sujin, and Changha collections. So yeah, I'll be using these little, um, the board game sleeves. So you can see they fit the like normal size photo cards like pretty um, snugly. And I just like having my cards double sleeved. So like sleeved and then in the um, binder pages. I had originally bought these sleeves for the Dreamcatcher official binder that I don't even use for photo cards because I hate those pages that it came with. They smell so bad. How cute that is. Yeah, these pages are kind of like thin, I feel like, but they are um, pretty clear, so they do look nice. So yeah, I'm just going to continue to um, get my cards, the sleeves switched over. Alright, I believe I have all of the cards um, sleeved up that I can fit in here right now. So I'm going to just put them in. I do sort my binders by debut date. Because that makes it easier for me to decide. Um, who goes where. These are stuck together. Yeah, now I can see the backs of the cards. I can never remember Arias's age order, so...
is a Yes Asia, Asia set. They don't fit in the sleeves, but they will fit in the pockets. Red Square, I think that's their age order. I might have got Green and Chea mixed up. See, I love the backs of their cards. Like, I'm so happy to see them again. And again, these Wua cards fit, but the sleeves do not fit on them. It's so nice for six member groups. That's kind of annoying. Now since Red Square is just a four member group, I'm just gonna do two and two, I guess. They're make star cards. There were two versions and they don't really, they all have the same back. So I kind of just put them in a set that I think looks good. Okay, so that's it for the photo cards right now. I do have um, some postcards and stuff, so I'm gonna see what those fit in. So I do have single pages, um, these half pages. So, so it looks like these are too big for that. So they do fit okay in the um, two pocket like horizontal pages. So that's what I will use. <laughs> this one has like a third pocket. I'm just going to go ahead and start the jungle postcards. And then the bookmarks look like they will fit in these pages. So yeah, the bookmarks fit in these three pages like perfectly. See, this one also has three pages stuck together, so you can see these are definitely not the greatest quality. Though they didn't cost very much, it was the shipping that cost the most, honestly. And then the stickers are too big for that. Their stickers are like the most awkward thing. And I kind of am just going to put them up somewhere, I think. So we've got a photo card page and then the postcard pages. And then these bookmark pages fit great. Arya's has a postcard. I think I'm just going to put red squares with theirs. And our red squares is kind of like 
thicker than other groups, so I'm gonna use a one pocket. This might be too big for the three pocket ones. Yeah, they're like just barely too small, so these will go into these. Right now, since I only have um, Sora and Lucy, I'm going to Just keep them on the two on the page together. All right, so this is what the binder looks like now. Um. I'm probably going to spend some time to make some filler pages or filler spots for some of this where I have um, empty spots. And um, I also wish it had like a pocket for the front but I think that I will take like a big single page and like make a front cover for it that way. Um, besides that, I do have a little bit more um, space to grow in there, which is good because Stacy and Lunar Solar have both had comebacks. And I do collect all the entire group. I have a lot of Lunar Solar cards that I'd be putting in here. Stacy, I'm not going to collect as many pre-order benefits as Lunar Solar just because it's harder with more members. So that was that. I'm going to have to figure out what to do with uh, my other bandit cards. I wish they would fit in the sleeves. I could use these four pockets, but it's kind of really annoying. I think these cards will probably just go back in my... Uh, big binder or a four pocket whatever I decide to do with that. And I did buy these um, dragon shield sleeves today in case they would fit in that binder but they did not. But I am going to put some cards in this little binder. Alright, so this little binder, I'm going to keep these like random cards in. I have Bian's um, Boom Boom card, since I'm not going to collect any more of um, those, because they're super hard to find. I have these um, grayish cards I pulled out of my album. My um, Cherry Bullet Ella card, one of the group cards. And then I have my Sun cards. And the a group signature card and then I put the sun in the back so she could be seen then I have two of Sian's um, like pre-order benefits that I only focused on getting hers and my swan photo cards and then the Xi'an cards I pulled from my Everglow albums 
and then I have a lot more room. So this one looks like this when it's in the little case. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my new little binder. I'm pretty happy with it and I enjoy having the groups on the pages where there's not like a whole lot of extra room and um, of course I'll be adding to it once I get my Lunar Solar and Stacy albums. Honestly, I wish I could put um, GWSN in here, but with seven members I'd have to kind of figure out how to do that without it looking awkward. But I do think I might try to figure out how to put the other groups in here that I collect. Um, as long as it doesn't fill it up too much. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.